Bit blasting is a surface finishing process that involves shooting small and spherical particles, glass, ceramic or metal beads, or other abrasive materials at a surface to remove contaminants, burrs and imperfections and create a smooth clean finish. Here are some situations when you might consider using bit blasting as a surface finish. Bit blasting can be used to create a controlled texture or matte finish on a surface. This is often desirable for aesthetic or functional reasons, such as reducing glare on cosmetic components. Bit blasting can be used to remove burrs and sharp edges from metal parts. This helps improve the safety of the parts and it is beneficial to assemble the parts correctly. The controlled impact of bits during blasting can induce compressive stresses on the surface, which can be beneficial for improving the fatigue life of certain components, such as springs or gears. Bit blasting is effective at removing rust, paint, oil, grease and other contaminants from surfaces. Therefore, it's commonly used before painting, coating or bonding. When you need to bond materials together, ensuring a clean and properly textured surface is crucial for adhesion. Bit blasting is relatively gentle compared to other abrasive blasting methods like sand blasting. It can be used to clean delicate materials like plastics without causing damage. Bit blasting is often used to prepare metal surfaces for various coatings, including paint, powder coating and thermal spray coatings. It helps to create a clean and roughened surface improving the adhesion of the coating. Bit blasting can be used for restoring old and corroded surfaces, bringing them back to their original condition or preparing them for refinishing. Here are some situations where you should avoid using bit blasting. Bit blasting can generate heat due to friction, especially when high pressure air or abrasive particles are used. This can be a concern for materials that are sensitive to heat, such as certain plastics or electronic components. Thin or lightweight parts may deform or become damaged when subjected to the force of bit blasting. If possible, use low pressure bit blasting or consider alternative methods. Bit blasting can remove material from the surface, which may affect dimensions and tolerances of components. If tight tolerances are critical, this must be considered during the design phase or opt for a different surface finishing method. Bit blasting can induce contamination if not properly controlled. It's crucial to thoroughly clean and inspect parts after bit blasting to ensure that no abrasive particles or contaminants are left on the surface. Bit blasting may be less practical for very large or intricate parts as it can be time consuming and may require specialized equipment. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Please contact us if you have any questions. Until next time, stay curious.